Hello, everyone, and welcome to this Nadex webinar, an introduction to Nadex binary options. My name is Todd Rich. I am head of education over at Nadex. And I will be taking you through this session today. And, uh, you know, let's just go ahead and jump into it and get started. Before I actually get started, our webinars, as are all of our webinars, are sponsored by our compliance department. <coughs> Excuse me. I do need to share the slide that trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for everyone, that any trading decisions you make are solely your responsibility and at your own risk. And then this is rather important. This is an educational session. Please do not construe anything I say today as a buy or sell recommendation. That will actually come in uh, really importantly when I jump over to the platform and I start demonstrating some of the products. And uh, I don't want you to, because I am gonna show you some pretty cool things that you can do with the platform and how you can trade these products, but I don't want you to take any of that as trading advice. So um, I am going to mention this up front. I will put this up there again at the end. But if, if you've got any questions, if you've got any questions, please email us, customerservice at nadex.com. We are here to help. We are here to answer your questions. And the only way we can help you with that is if you reach out to us. I'd also recommend that you follow us on social media. Now I am going to point out that YouTube channel and in fact, I will show you later, but we publish a lot of video content. We do it every day. Uh, in fact, every morning we try to give you some uh, ideas on what the hotspots are in the markets and where you might wanna be looking. And we do, we do some technical analysis and break it down. Uh, so I would recommend that you Subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll even show you where you can find where those upcoming streams are so that you can even set reminders for yourself and you'll get notified uh, when we are going live. The last thing I'm going to mention up here, trustpilot.com slash review slash nadex.com. It would be greatly appreciated if you're watching this or you someone catches this on the recording. If you could go out and give us a review, trustpilot.com slash review slash nadex.com, it would be greatly appreciated. The last thing I'm going to mention is this is an interactive session. Now I will try to answer all of the questions. I will make best efforts to answer all of the questions. I will tell you if I don't get to your question, I will most certainly have somebody follow up with you uh, to make sure that we're clear on it. The other thing I'm going to tease out there is if you would like a copy of this slide deck, if you'd like a copy of the slide deck, email customer service at nadex.com and request it. So if you email them, they will be able to send you a copy of the slide deck and you can actually then have the deck in front of you if you want to go back and review this session later and it will be posted to our YouTube channel as well as in the archive section of our website. But then you can even go back and replay the session and you can have the slide deck in front of you and uh, you know jot some notes down on it later if you'd like. Okay, so what are we gonna to cover today in this particular session? One, I am going to start off with who is Nadex? Uh, we have, uh, with the markets being as volatile as they have been, we've had a pretty significant influx of, and I'm gonna say pretty significant is probably a major understatement, uh, a lot of interest in participating in Nadex markets, uh, particularly our binary option products. It's what most people come to us for, even though we've got some pretty cool other products like call spreads and knockouts, which I'm going to cover next week. This is a two-part series. But first I wanna cover who is Nadex. Uh, then I'm gonna talk about binary options. That's what we're here to focus on today is this term, binary options, what does it mean? And the reality of it is you probably are already familiar with binary options, you just might not know it. Then I'm gonna talk about how they work, the risk reward, uh, and then how the price of these change. Like what are you actually trading when you trade, when you buy and sell binary options and there's a price up there. And uh, so we're gonna go through some of the mechanics of that. I am gonna show you that we have a variety of choices 
Uh, and it's it's something that differentiates Nadex from all the other binary option providers out there. Um, but we're even going to talk a little bit more about that in a second. And then, I, as I mentioned, we are going to jump over to the platform. I do want to highlight the practical application of the concepts that we discussed today and how you can actually access our markets and then what you might want to be looking for and how you can go about trading them. Uh, ultimately, that's 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 probably your goal from joining us here today. So I think that really brings it all together. Now let's start off. I will do this quickly, but I do want to highlight a few things. Who is Nadex? Well, first, Nadex is short for North American Derivatives Exchange. So that's that's the acronym. This is probably one of the more important things. We are a regulated electronic exchange. We are regulated by the Commodity Future Trading Commission. It is a US regulatory body. It is the same regulator that, uh, that the other futures exchanges in the United States uh, have to report into, namely something like the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, the CME, or the Intercontinental Exchange, ICE, ICE, who owns the New York Stock Exchange. They report in to the CFTC as well. That's our regulatory body. Now, uh, the reason I like to point this out is there are actually only two binary options exchanges in the United States that are regulated. The other one is a very small one and they offer some weather contracts and they don't trade very much. So if I say Nadex is the premier binary options exchange in the United States, that is absolutely true. Uh, people come to Nadex to trade binary options. Now, can you potentially access other binary option providers outside of the United States? And the answer is there are some offerings on the internet. And with that, I would just say caveat emptor, buyer beware. Uh, if you are trading on an unregulated exchange uh, and you want some type of recourse, good luck. And the rules that apply to unregulated exchanges uh, are quite different than those uh, of a properly regulated exchange. So we have to adhere to all the rules and regulations of the United States. You can access Nadex from outside the United States. Uh, and we have on our website a list of all the countries and places where you can access it, uh, but, uh, which, is, which is wonderful. Uh, but it's good to know that we actually are truly and properly regulated. And that will actually come into play when you look at our products where you can buy or sell them, where you can post liquidity to, to the order book, where you, uh, it's, uh, it's not all one-sided. We have a variety of choices. So it's, uh, it's, it's different uh, when you look at Nadex markets versus what, what you might find elsewhere. Now, what is it our contracts were designed to do is they were designed specifically for the retail um, and, you know, hmm, I'm, I'm gonna type a, a quick response here, but if, if you can't hear, which if you can't hear, uh, you wouldn't be able to hear me. Uh, you have to refresh your browser. Uh, this is being delivered over the internet and the internet is not always wholly reliable. Um, so, we have contracts designed specifically for the individual retail trader. Now, what does that mean? When we say, all right, who, who's, who's the retail trader? And, or how can you say that they're uh, designed for the retail trader? And that's because they have a very low cost to entry. All right, so you do not need large quantities of dollars to access Nadex markets. Uh, in fact, uh, you can open up a Nadex trading account with just a, a few, hundred, few hundred bucks. And uh, our binary options, all of our binary options, the notional value, the total maximum notional value of any one contract is $100, which means every binary option will trade for some fraction of that. So if you actually wanted to access price action in the markets um, and you, you didn't have, you only had a couple hundred dollars, you can actually get into Nadex markets uh, for very low cost. I mean, these contracts are small, designed for the retail trader. And the what's even more interesting is every single one of these contracts is defined risk. You can't lose any more than you put into a contract. You know getting into a trade exactly what you could potentially make and what you could potentially lose before you even enter the trade. We do the math for you. We show you. 
um, so that you can manage your risk accordingly. So things that you may have heard about like margin call or you know performance bond or initial maintenance margin and it that's all out the door. None of that applies. We have very small contracts. You know exactly what you could um, uh, potentially make or potentially lose uh, before you enter a trade. Hold on one second. Okay. So as I try to multitask here. All right, let's keep going along. All right, now, what is it the Nadex offers? Now, while we offer call spreads and knockouts, which I will get into, uh, we offer binary options. And what is it? They're products designed for the retail trader, very low cost entry, defined risk. And it's for people who are looking for very short term price, price action. You want the action, all right? And we'll get into that uh, and you will understand you the extent of the action that you're looking for uh, we have a variety of markets for you to choose from so you can get the level of action that you're looking for so let's start off first off what is a binary option and i've been saying this repeatedly it is a short term contract all right and we'll get into as, as short as five minutes they can last up to a week and we have a variety of choices in between, but every one of these is defined risk, defined reward contract. And each contract is made up of three components. All right, I, I told you, you know what a, a binary option is. When I go through an example, you'll go, I get it, of course. Why don't you just say it that way? But uh, we, have to, we have to do it this way because we are regulated and we have to use the correct terms. So every binary option contract is going to have three components, an underlying market, a condition and a time. Underlying market condition time. That condition is sometimes called a strike price or a level. And I'm going to give you one simple example. Uh, and, and we've got binary options for equity indices, foreign exchange, commodities, uh, even event contracts uh, around economic numbers. So we've got a variety of different choices in our binary options, but let's just pick, and I'm gonna pick one out of the air, gold, all right? Uh, so we have an underlying market, gold, okay? Then there's a, con a condition, a strike price, a level, $1,830, $1,830 per ounce, and a time uh, in the next two hours, today, at the end of the week. So the way it comes together is, will gold be above 1830 when it when this contract settles at the end of today will gold be above 1830 at the end of today All right that's a condition and it's a that, that's our, our contract um you know I, I i could throw in and this is strictly as an example and i don't want to uh equate them at all but will the chicago blackhawks beat the tampa bay lightning today all right so um you probably get the comparison there in terms of the phrasing of the question it's a question will gold be above 1830 at the end of the day now the interesting thing is is you can buy or sell that all right and whether you're buying or selling your maximum risk and your maximum gain are known beforehand. So what's interesting, and this is what differentiates us from other binary options providers, is you can say, yes, I think it is going to be above that level. Or you could say, no, I do not think it's going to be above that level. You can both buy or sell. And the price of a binary option will trade in, will trade in a range. All right. As I mentioned before, the highest it can go is 100. The lowest it can go is zero. So a binary options price will be someplace between zero and 100. Think of it as a floor and a ceiling. Now, these are all true or false predictions. Either the event is going to happen or it's not. And that is why it is considered a binary option. Right? There are only, in the end, two outcomes. Right? If it's true, the contract goes to 100. And if it's false, the contract will go to zero. All right. So, and, and that's 
And that's the long and the short of it. It's a binary option. Will gold be above 1830 at the end of the day? At the end of the day, if it's a if it's above 1830, it goes to 100. If it's and, and it's if it's 1830 or lower, so it has to be above for it to be true. If it's exactly at 1830, spot on or below, the condition it would be considered false, and it would go to zero. Now, the price that you're trading is can be thought of as the probability at that moment in time that the statement is going to be true. So when you're actually looking at the price of a binary option, and um, when you look at the price of a binary option, let's say gold were trading 1830 right now, and there was a binary option, will it be above 1830 at a certain point in time? Well, since we don't know what's going to happen in, uh, next to gold. There's an equal likelihood that it would go up or that it would go down. That binary option in all likelihood is going to be trading around 50, meaning there is a 50% chance the statement's going to be true and a 50% chance the statement's going to be false. All right. So uh, the probabilities of a binary option potentially being true or untrue will fluctuate as the price of the underlying, as the price of gold goes up or down. So if, for instance, if if gold were trading at 1800 and the question were, is it going to be above 1830? Well, it's going to have to get up to 1830 first and go, and go higher. So the probability, um, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's trading at 1800 and you're wondering, will it be above 1830? It's going to have to go higher to just to get there. The truth is, is that's going to be less than a 50% probability because it's already below 1830. It's going to have to get all the way up there and some. So it'll be trading at a lower probability. If gold, let's just say, it, will gold be above 1830 and gold were trading at 1860? So it's already above it by $30 an ounce. It's probably going to be trading higher than 50% because it's already above it. So uh, even if it came down some and went the wrong way, uh, the st in the end, as long as it's above 1830, it will go to 100. And if it's 1830 or low, it'll go to zero. So that probability will fluctuate. Now, here's the kind of cool thing that we did at Nadex as well, is I told you the contracts are worth $100 and you're trading a probability and the probability can only be true, it's 100 or false, it's zero the probabilities that you're trading also equate to the dollars of the contract. So it, we make it super easy. Now we calculate it on an order ticket, but if you bought one contract at 50, it could potentially go to 100. You're risking 50 to potentially make 50 because it goes to 100. So you know I can make, I'm risking 50 to make 50. If I think gold's going lower, and I sell it at 50, it's the same thing. It can only go to zero. So I'm going to risk 50 because I think it's going to go to zero. But if it goes to 100 because I sold it, I can only lose 50. So all of those probabilities are the dollars. And if you, you can figure out what the opposite side is. If I buy a, a lower probability binary option for just $20, all right, I'm, I'm taking a chance here. Uh, it's only got a 20% likelihood of being true, but that means one in five, it's going to be true. I could buy it at 20 and uh, I could potentially make 80 if it goes to 100, All right? So you can figure out how you wanna manage your risk reward based on the probability of the contract. That is going to get a little bit more interesting as I keep going through this presentation because the plot will thicken on that, All right? But I first wanna just go through the mechanics of it all. All right, now, Similar to other options, if you've traded other uh, options like calls and puts on other exchanges, uh, there's this, these concepts of volatility and time. Those will also impact the price of an option and a binary option. And I'm going to go through that in detail here. I'm going to walk through the detail of what that means. But uh, when I show it to you on the platform, I'm confident it will totally resonate with you when you see it in action.
Now I mentioned these trade between zero and hundred, the contract is worth a hundred dollars. So, uh, and I said, you can't lose any more than you put into your contract. So the collateral that you're gonna put up is always going to be the, the amount that you could potentially lose, all right? And, uh, and, and, and the math of it, it it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if I buy a contract, uh, I can't lose any more than what I, I paid for it. Uh, now, the seller of a contract, if I sell, a, uh, in, in my, my risk is I, I, I'm going to collect the amount that I sold it for, but it could go to 100. So 100 minus my sell price is what my maximum risk is. Now, on the sell side, the most a seller can make is the amount that they sell it for. So I sell it and the, and the most I can make is it goes to zero. Uh, now, the maximum reward for a buyer, all right, so a buyer, I can, I'm risking what I put up, but the most I can make is the 100 minus my buy price because I bought it, it goes to 100 and that's where my profit would be. So the, the math be, uh, behind all of this, um, all right, the math behind all of this, oops, I, I just went a little crazy with my mouse, apologies. Um, the math behind all this um, is pretty straightforward, but we do it for you on the order ticket, which is what I was going to get to. Now, I'm just going to show you uh, what an order ticket looks like. And again, I want to encourage you, I've been getting quite a few questions and I've been trying to answer them as I go. If anything I say is confusing, type in a question, I'll, I'm, I'll come, I might have to come back to it. But again, I remind you, you can always email customer service at nadex.com and also email them if you want this slide deck. All right, now, on an order ticket, pretty straightforward. Here's my condition. Will, and here we're talking about the NASDAQ, all right, the US Tech 100, that's the NASDAQ, and it settles to the NASDAQ future. Will it be higher than 94.60 at 4.15 p.m.? Now, um, you're going to have two prices. There's going to be a bid price and there's going to be an offer price. Uh, the bid price is where you could sell it and you would say, no, I do not think it's going to be above uh, 94.60. Uh, I think it's going to go lower. It'll stay, it'll be below that. And I see a price that I can sell it for, all right? 45.25. Uh, if I think, yes, it is, I have a buy price. I can buy it for 53.50. Now, uh, do I have to trade on those markets? And the answer is you do not have to. You can place, we have a central limit order book, okay? Uh, you can place an order if you want between the bid ask spread. So if I'm trying to buy, all right, and I see the price is 45 uh, bid at 53, I don't wanna pay 53, I wanna pay 48. All right, I'd be willing to pay 40. I can actually place an order for my, my, my contract to try to buy one at 48. If I were to buy one at 48, we tell you right on the order ticket, well, if, if you buy one at 48, the most that you can lose is $48 and the most that you could potentially make is 52. So we tell you all that up front. Now, if you put a bid in between the bid ask spread, does it mean someone's going to sell it to you? And the answer is no. Uh, you could put a bid out there and no one wants to trade with you and the market moves away, but you can, all right? We have a central limit order book. There are market makers that make sure that the there's always a bid and ask and we have a, multiple market makers. So there's always a price up there, but that price also includes all of the other people who are trading. And we have thousands of people trading on Nadex every single day. Um, and so you're getting an amalgamation of whatever the highest bid is at that moment in time and the lowest offer. And if you wanna put something between the bid ask spread, you can just like anybody else can. And what's even more interesting is if I wanna put a bid below, all right, I, I don't wanna pay 45, but if it got down to 35, I'd buy one. I could put a bid down at 35 and just leave it out there. Or if I wanted to sell one at 70 and I wanted to put a, a, a sell, an offer higher, I can. Um, that's what a central limit order book does. Now, uh, by the way, on that order ticket, you'll also know an indicative price in the upper left-hand corner and the exact time left. So this, this particular contract, you can see that um, the NASDAQ, the indicative price was uh, 94.45, where it was, it was 
just slightly below that 9460 level, which is why it's sort of leaning below 50. Uh, and it had 18 hours, um, 19 hours, 18 hours and 54 minutes to go. Now let's talk about price and time in the underlying market, because I think this is the one thing where you get the action in binary options. Right? And this is what people are looking for. Uh, and as we mentioned, it's the probability of an event occurring at that moment in time. And that probability is constantly going to fluctuate. It will change, all right? By the way, I, I, if you wanted to know what the probability really were, you'd, you'd really be looking at the, the midpoint between the bid ask spread. So if you saw a spread 75, 76, the midpoint 76, that's the market saying there's about a 76% 76 chance at that moment in time that it will be true and go to 100. Now, the price of a binary option and the probability of it being true, interestingly enough, do not have to move in line with the underlying market. And I will explain that and I will show that to you um, because two things impact that. And this is what I really wanted to go through with binary options. Time to expiration will impact that and volatility will also impact that. And I'm going to walk through some examples that show you exactly what I mean when I say time will impact it as well as volatility. And the general concept is if there's a lot of time left, sure, they're going to price that the chance of that happening, uh, of anything happening is going to be higher because there's so much time for something to occur. And if volatility is really, really low and nothing's changing, people start feeling more confident and comfortable with where it's going to end. So the prices will probably shrink. Um, but if something is very volatile, swinging all over the place, the probabilities are probably going to tend toward 50% because I don't know where it's going to go. No one does. So uh, we're going to walk through some very specific examples real quickly. Um, and then I'm going to show it to you on the platform. So here's here's an example of um, a, the Euro US dollar. And the question was, will it be higher than one spot 14 at 3 p.m.? And there's our one spot 14 price uh, put right on the chart. And you can see that this has moved up and down through 114 throughout the day. All right. But let's take a look at what happens as time moves forward and as the uh, as the price swings above and below that 114 level. So early in the day, you can see that it was it was above one spot 14, all right? It was clearly above, and as such, it was trading at a slightly higher than 50% probability. In fact, the market was giving it a 56% chance of finishing above 114. Now, early in the day, it has a sell-off, it dropped. Now, did it drop dramatically? Um, not really, it moved. Did it move in the direction of the price of the underlying? It did, it dropped down and now they're going giving it a 44. So it went from 56, the middle, down to 44, the middle. It did go down, but realize it didn't go down a ton because there's a lot of time left in the day. That impact of time giving it an opportunity because I don't know where it's gonna go will be reflected in the price of the binary option. Now, skip ahead a beat. Later in the day, it chops up and down, up and down and up and down. And we're at the exact same spot we were earlier in the day. And now we're a little more than halfway through the day. Notice that the price essentially is decayed. While earlier in the day, there was a 44% chance when it was at this price, now there's only a 36% chance. Now, why is that? We're at the same price below 114, but there's a lot less time for something to occur. So with the, with the movement forward in time, the, the, the price of the binary dropped. So the price of the underlying stayed the same, but the price of the binary option went lower. Now, 
we have that same move up that we saw essentially with that move down earlier. And here we are now, there's only a third of the day left. We are well above 114 and the, the volatility, the price of the binary has jumped all the way up to 74%. We are above 114. There's not much time left in the day. Um, so they're giving it a 74% chance that it will finish above 114. And now we do that drop again. And here you see a dramatic drop in the price of the binary because now there's only a little bit time of time left in the day. There, It's a 24% probability. But remember, when I say a 24% probability and it's trading for $24, that means one in four it's going to stay below. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, one in four, it's gonna get above, I'm sorry. Only one in four probability that it will go above, three in four that it will stay below, all right? That's 25% uh, probability. And you can see now, as you get closer to expiration, the swing in the probabilities as the price moves become much more pronounced. And lo and behold, at the end of the day, this thing actually went from 24 with just a little bit of time left in the day. If it went anywhere and it finished anywhere at one spot uh, above one spot 14, it would have gone to 100. It, I mean, anywhere above there. So you can see how the price of the, of the binary option moves throughout the day as time goes on, uh, where there's less chance of it being true or false, as well as um, the volatility of it and that volatility component becomes much more magnified toward the end of the day when there is less time for it to make a change. All right. Now let's look at volatility. Let's look at a low volatility environment. And I'm going to move through these pretty quickly. Uh, here's the same example. Is it going to be a greater than 114? And there's our 114 level. And you can see this thing just kind of goes sideways all day long. Um, and it never even gets above 114. But early in the day, there was a 44% chance that it would make it above 114. We skip ahead and it's dropped to 34%. I mean, the price has even gone down a little bit, if you notice. Price went down, time went on, this thing, the price of the binary option has dropped. Now, the price of the binary actually goes, I mean, the underlying goes higher, right? The underlying goes higher but the price of the binary actually goes lower. It dropped from a 34% down to a 20%. Why is that? There's now very little time left in the day. And it's been very low volatility. This thing has not been making dramatic moves and people are pretty confident that it's not going to get above 114. And of course it goes to zero. Now, could it have jumped to higher than 114, yes. Would that have been a bit of an anomaly given the course of the volatility throughout the day? It would have been. I mean, when we looked at our previous example, it was very volatile. It was going up and down and up and it was going through that level rather frequently. Here, it doesn't move much at all. You simply watch it decay down to zero uh, where the statement becomes false. All right. Same holds true if we see the same example if it, no volatility, but it's above. It starts off above 50% probability. Notice how it goes down. The price goes down, but the probability actually went up. There's still half a day to go here, and they're, they're at 66% because there's only half a day to go, and there's low volatility. It's not moving all over. It drifts sideways. It continues. It's going to trend towards 100 because the probability this is gonna stay above 114, people are confident about in a low volatility environment, they don't think it's going to move. And indeed, it goes to 100. All right, so hopefully that was clear to everybody. Um, we're going to see that in action when I do a demo on the platform. Again, I wanna encourage you, if you got any questions, type in questions. And again, I wanna encourage you, email customer service at nadex.com for the slide deck, if you'd like, when you go back and re review this recording, you can have the slide deck in front of you. All right. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the variety of choices that Nadex offers in binary options. All right. We've got our conditions, all right, which are also referred to as strike prices or levels. All right. So for each underlying market all right, and time frame, there are going to be a lot of 
choices for you to choose from. Is it going to be above this price? Is it going to be above this price? Is it going to be above this price? In, in cases of extreme volatility, we will add additional strike prices or conditions as the um, as the market uh, warrants. Uh, we got to we, we want to offer strike prices above and below wherever the current price is. So we want, if we have to, we'll we'll add them. Now here's an example. Here's the euro US dollar, and as you can see. We've got two hour time frames. That's on the left from 2 to 4 p.m., from 3 to 5 p.m. Uh, we, we give you the current indicative price, right? It's at one spot, seven, nine. And you can see how we offer contracts to go out. And this one, there's one that's going to settle in 10 minutes, one in an hour and 10, uh, one in 12 hours, uh, another one in 16, another one at 20. Uh, you know, so we've got a lot of different timeframes. The, the point there is, unlike many, if not most other binary options exchanges, they're gonna give you one choice. We give you a bunch of different timeframes for you to choose the timeframe that you want. And if you recall, the volatility component and the, and the action changes much more dramatically as you get closer to expiration. It's not going to be as pronounced further away from expiration. So you can choose the time frame or the time zone that's most comfortable for you. Or more specifically, if there's going to be an economic event or an announcement, maybe that's exactly when you want to start looking at these because you might see opportunity that you're looking for at that precise moment in time. Now, um, as I mentioned, you not not only in each one of these time frames, all right. So we offer binary options in multiple equity indices globally, in multiple foreign exchange pairs, all the uh, the most highly traded, the most popular foreign exchange pairs, in commodities. So we've got a bunch of different products that we offer. Then we've got all of these different time frames that you can choose from. And in each time frame, and I just clicked on the weekly, so this had two days and 23 hours to go, there are going to be multiple levels for you to choose from. Uh, in this example, you know, we know that um, the euro is what at one spot 79. Uh, this is just a snippet of, you know, for this week, there's will it be above one spot um, 825? Will it be ab above one spot 725? Uh, one spot 625. Notice that the ones down below, it's it's currently far enough above them that they're are, the market's already pricing these at a 95% probability they're going to be true. Um, the uh, and the one that's further away, I mean, uh, like the one spot 825. Um, I mean, it's already at one spot 79, so it's above the one spot seven, uh, 725 level. And then the one further up. A little bit lower probability in the mid 30s that it will get and settle above there by the end of the week. Now, weekly options are going to have a different spread. Uh, notice the spreads are a little wider. It's 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 um, a full penny on each uh, between each binary option. There are tighter spreads between each one of the conditions when there is less time. So the two to four hour time frame will have a lot more choices. And we've even got five minute binaries. And that's where I'll show you where the spreads are much, much smaller so that you will see a lot more action. Now, I, if you take nothing else away from this session, <laughs> this is my pearl of wisdom for all trading. And I don't care what you're trading, um, particularly when it comes to options when it comes to options, but this is true of binary options. This is true of call spreads. This is true of knockouts. This is true of any option that you trade out there. So, I, and I'm not gonna even limit that. An important rule when trading binary options, just because there's an expiration associated with the contract does not mean you have to wait until then to see what happens, All right? I wanna say that again. A binary option, just because there's a time uh, to expiration, does not mean you have to wait to see what the outcome is, all right? You do not have to sit there and wait to see. You can 
choose to exit your position early. And that is something also that differentiates NADEX from a bunch of other binary options providers is it's not a roach motel. You don't get into it and then you're stuck with it and you just gotta wait and see what happens. Um, to me, that would be like, again, I, I gotta be careful, but if you buy it and then you can't trade out of it, it's like buying a horse race ticket. Um, you pick the six horse and you know what, you change your mind, guess what, you can't. Uh, at Nadex, you get into a uh, binary options position, you can, you can exit the position early. Now, why would you wanna exit the position early? For two reasons, one, lock in profits, all right? That's the goal of the game. You can lock in profits or, oops, I was wrong and I wanna minimize my losses. So you can choose to exit early. You don't have to wait to experience maximum potential profit or maximum potential loss. And I'm going to use uh, a little example earlier. Let's say you uh, thought the price of something were gonna go higher. You buy it at a 20 probability and it goes right to that level, all right? I think it's gonna go above that level, but it goes right to that level now you know it's trading around a 50 probability because we don't know where it's going to go. Now you bought it at 20 to potentially make 80, but you bought it at 20. You know you can't lose any more than 20. It goes to 50 and you've got a decision to make. Do I want to hold out and hope that I get all 80 and, has, and have it go to 100? Or am I willing to risk it? Now, the truth of the matter is at that moment in time, you bought it at 20, it went to 50, you've profited $30, right? You went, you made 150% return on your money. You bought it at 20, it's worth 50. Uh, so you bought 20, you've made 30, but you haven't recognized it yet. So then you, the question really is that you're asking yourself is, am I willing to risk 50 to potentially make 50 based on what's going on in the market right now? And you've got to make that determination on, you know what? I'm happy with the $30 profit. I'm going to take a $30 profit. Thank you very much. And I'm going to move on to my next trade. And hopefully all your trades go that way. We know that's not going to be the case, but because um, you know, no one makes wins on every single one of their trades, but you've got to make that determination. And that is uh, something that you've got to decide. And the same can go true if you, uh, you know, you, there was a high probability and a lot, this is a popular strategy. I'm gonna buy an 80 probability because I'm gonna risk 80, seems like a lot of risk to only make 20, but I'm pretty confident that this thing's gonna go there. So there's a high probability of me making that $20. There's an 80% chance that I'll make that $20, but it doesn't always work that way. And it starts going against you. And now it's gone down to 50-50 and you're thinking, well, shoot. Um, I really thought it was going to do something else. Do I have to lose all 80? Do I hang on to it to potentially make that 20? I've already lost 30 because I bought it at 80, went to 50. You can sell it at 50 if you know, and just take your lumps. Say, oops, I risked 80 to make 20. I lost 30. I was wrong. Admit you're wrong. So a lot of uh, uh, successful traders manage their risk and reward beyond the inherent risk and reward of the contract itself, where it's only worth $100. Some people will, will just like, I, I wanna wait and see. Others will liquidate early, minimizing losses and locking in profits. Something you can do when you're trading binary options and on Nadex, on Nadex. And that is a, a, a value proposition that we offer. Now, again, email us please customer service at nadex.com. We are here to help. We've also got plenty of resources on our website. You can take a look at that. I suggest you follow us on social media. And again, that YouTube, and I'm going to show you the YouTube before we jump onto the platform quickly. And lastly, um, I'm going to put a plug in for that trustpilot.com uh, slash review slash nadex.com. It would be greatly appreciated if you could take a little bit of time, takes a few seconds and give us a review. Okay. With that, I am now going to switch and we're gonna do a little bit of show and tell, what we call um, off-roading. And let's just see, oh, I'm gonna have to figure out which one of these I want. I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, yeah, 
I think I'm, nope, I think I wanna share the other one. Uh, I apologize, let's try this again. I wanna share a different application. I've got too many, got too many windows open on my computer. There we go, although it looks the same. All right, uh, the first thing I wanna point out is, uh, we're, this is the Nadex YouTube page. I'm actually on the videos section. Uh, you can see where it says videos. We've got a home screen. And well, my screen share got paused. Let's try that again. OK. So uh, on the video section, in fact, I'm going to refresh this here. Let's just take a look. OK. And you can see that we post a lot of content. My colleague, Travis. McGee, our chief commercial officer, does a quick one minute update on just, hey, keep an eye out. This is what happened overnight in Europe, uh, things you might wanna be considering. Then uh, I do a Nadex morning analysis. Uh, it is live streamed every day. It's at um, 9 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Central. 9 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Central for 15 minutes. We I, dump, I jump in with, with a colleague, uh, a partner, uh, Brian Caprice from Keep Trading Simple, and we go, all right, now we know what the news was, how's that impacting the markets? And we jump into the hot spots of the markets, we look at the charts, we look at technical analysis, we try to identify uh, some interesting technical levels, we might analyze binary options, call spreads, or knockouts, but it's something that's a little bit more tangible for you to go, this is where I might want to look. We're not giving any trading ideas. We're not giving uh, uh, we're not giving advice. But you might not be aware that a particular market was moving around. Uh, for instance, a few weeks back, silver went crazy up with the Reddit traders, and there was uh, I mean our silver volumes went through the roof because everyone started trading silver. And so it was an opportunity that if you weren't aware of it and you, you weren't paying attention, you might have missed some uh, some interesting things that you could have done. On the videos page, you'll notice right below it says all videos. If I click on that, um, I can I can look at my past live streams, all of them. All right. So if you want to see what we've done, I mean, you can see we do this every single day, and we've got a bit of a following where people are paying attention. And then upcoming live streams. This is what I was I wanted to show you. If you go to upcoming live streams, I schedule them out about a week in advance. So you'll always see somewhere between two and five of these out there. That's as far as I'm allowed to uh, put them out there. But you can set a reminder for yourself and it will remind you, oh yeah, they're going live. Uh, and if you subscribe to our channel, um, you'll even get alerts when we post, uh, when the videos get posted. So I wanted to point that out. Uh, now what I want to do is let's jump over to the Nadex platform. Let's make this screen a little bit bigger. And this is what I want to focus on. All right, let's slide this over. Okay, perfect. Now, if you haven't seen the Nadex platform before, here we are with our, I, I love our new background, uh, the dark theme. Uh, and what we've got, you've got your positions pane down below. You've got your charts and order ticket will be here in the center. And then over here are the different products, binary options, call spreads, knockouts. We're focusing on binary options today. Notice that we do have binary options in equity indices, uh, global indices, the FTSE, 100, you know, the FTSE over in London, the DAX over in Germany, the Nikkei in Japan, the S&P 500, the Russell 2000, the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones. So um, if I, let me refresh that page, there we go. So, and you can see that we, you know, we've got multiple time frames for each one of these. Uh, foreign exchange, all right, we've even got more time frames, but you can see we've got all of the major pairs that uh, where uh, are the of the greatest interest, the ones that are the most highly traded. As I mentioned, we've got commodities, all right? So gold actually has been pretty volatile lately uh, with talks of inflation. Uh, that, that's a really a proxy for inflation. So what I'd like to do right now is I'm gonna go through a five minute binary option. Notice how there's only four, five minutes left. These will reset every five minutes. Since we were talking about the Euro US dollar, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Euro US dollar. I'm gonna populate a chart. I'm going to shrink my positions. I want you to see, let's make this a one minute chart. All right, and I wanna make this for just a day. 
and I'm going to expand this out and I want to grow this so we can see the five strike prices that we've got. All right. And there we go. All right, let's, um, okay. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to watch. All right. Right now, if you'll notice, the euro US dollar is trading right above um, this 121. Notice when I click on buy, it shades the chart where I needed to settle for this to be true. Oh, now it's ticking down below. Now this was 50-50 probability. All right, and notice this, it's around 80 down here. Now, as this continues to tick lower, this has dropped from 50% probability in the few seconds we've been here down to about a 30% probability. And this yeah, has was ticked down into the 70s. We're gonna see, I don't know where this is gonna go. We still have three and a half minutes. Now, if I think it might pop back up again, I could buy, let's just try to buy one at 36. Um, did I get it? I did. All right, I've got an order and I bought, uh, I bought it at 36. Okay, now. Let's get that out of the way. All right, I bought one at 36. When I bought one at 36, I risked $36 to potentially make 64. Now, I've only got three minutes to go, all right? And I'm watching this tick. Now, notice it's come back up into my range a little bit. I don't know what's gonna happen. As this ticks, the probabilities here will change. Um, it looks like, Right now, it's kind of sticking between these two price levels, but I still have two and a half minutes to go. I don't know what's going to happen. Now, what can I do? Do I have to wait to see if this is going to settle above? I mean, it's, it's decaying away. I could choose just to sell it right now saying, uh, I don't like this. Uh, get me out. I've only got two minutes and 20 seconds, and it's dropping pretty quickly. Um, I could try to liquidate it at this point. I think I'm just going to hang on and look at this. This one, it's at 50 that was at 80 earlier, it's dropped down to the 50 range because it looks like it's gonna keep going lower, all right? And notice this one that was 100 now, we don't know. I mean, this is ticking around. Oh, I'm on a 15 minute too. I wanted to do a one minute. I really wanted to see each one of these. Um, so I think that would have been actually more useful. We would have gotten a little bit more uh, information. Look at this one that was at 50 is now below. I mean, we actually, you're seeing this in action. This was an 80% probability. And in less than three minutes, it's dropped down to 10. This one that was 100 probability has dropped down to the 70s. We still have a minute and a half to go, minute and 20 seconds. Now, the two that really are in play, I lost. I, 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 I don't even know if I can, I, I can even sell mine at this point. There's no one even willing to buy it. So I probably going to expect going to experience maximum potential loss of $36. Um, I could have hedged it by selling this one at 50 and I could have actually made my money back. Uh, we got a minute to go. I do wanna see what's gonna happen. I'm curious. Oh, it's bouncing back up. I was curious if it was gonna drop through this one as well because there was a chance, I mean, there still is a chance. Now we're watching in this particular candle, we got a new candle because there's one minute to go to expiration. It's going back up towards 90, 100, every time you see this tick higher. And look at this, this one that was just totally worthless, has, now has a chance. Now there's 30 seconds to go, no one knows what's gonna happen. And what you're gonna see is in about tw about 22 seconds to go, there it goes, I said 20, these things go blank. Now why is that? The reason these things go blank is because nobody wants to take that risk in the last 30 seconds. It's either gonna to go to zero or 100. Now we're gonna find out right here, it's settling in 10 seconds as, as it goes away. It looks like this, well, let's just wait and see. Two, one, all right, there it is. This one actually went to zero. This one went to 100, mine went to zero. Now, the reason you're seeing prices again is because we just flipped to a new contract. I'm gonna hit refresh, all right? So we can refresh it and we have got a new five minute cycle, all right? And here we are, uh, this is the one that went to zero a second ago. We started off at 80, it went to zero. Um, the one I traded at 36 went to zero. 
the one down here that started off at 100, that dropped down to about 70, went to 100. So now you're getting a, um, oh, and let's, um, now you're getting a, an idea and you're watching it happen again here. This one, which was just below 50, as it's shooting higher, watch this, and this is what happens. This one that I bought at 36 earlier that I lost on, uh, I could have potentially bought this next round and who knows where it's going. I don't know, we still have four minutes to go. But if you're looking for price action, lots of price action, five minute binary options in the foreign exchange, you're getting the volatility component of a binary option on steroids. A lot of people want that action. They wanna see these volatilities move around. That's what they're looking to trade. And uh, if you're really trying to understand how a binary option price works, watching these is one way to go about doing it. All right, now, uh, again, that might be way too much action for some folks. They have a different time frame. In the indices, we've got 20 minute binary options. And uh, of course, as I showed you earlier, we've got hourlies, dailies, weeklies, in, uh, and even in foreign exchange, I mean, we've got hourlies um, that go th multiple times throughout the day. And rem re remember that foreign exchange doesn't sleep. It, uh, it trades 24 hours a day. Now, our markets are, are available 23 hours a day, five days a week, but uh, that's why we have so many different uh, expiration times because you might be trading a particular time zone or you might be looking for news. Uh, I might be trading a, a foreign exchange pair that really impacts Australia um, and I might look at the Aussie yen during a time frame that's nighttime here or in the middle of the night uh, for the US. So uh, we've, we've got to offer that. All right, that is my that is binary options. Uh, and again, you know, if, if you if those if that volatility, oh look, there's the Aussie N. Uh, here we go with if I wanted to trade it in the middle of tonight, so it would settle at 3 a.m. Uh, New York time, but you were looking to trade it because it might be active um, during different hours, right? You and uh, you know, let's uh, you'll see. I mean, the strike prices are much further apart the further out you go. Um, and oh, I'm on a one minute chart, no less. Let's, uh, that might be a, too much of a chart. Yeah, let's use a 15 minute chart and you'll see that it makes a lot more sense um, with all the different strike prices uh, because <laughs> a one minute chart, a little too close. Um, with that, I wanna thank everyone for joining me today. I want you to remember again, by the way, I was in a demo environment. If you don't have a demo account, You'll notice a demo in the upper right-hand corner. I mean, this is paper trading. Now, trading in a demo account is not the same as trading in a live account. In a live account, you've got a lot of different people looking at the markets, and there's going to be much more interaction. In a demo environment, while it looks and it trades around the live prices, it's not going to be the same trading experience because it's demo. All right, but again, with that, I want to thank everyone for joining me. Please remember, join us uh, 8 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Eastern. Every morning, we do some live technical analysis uh, on hot spots in the market. You'll catch that live streaming on YouTube, so please follow us on YouTube. And again, you want the slide deck? Email us, customerservice at nadex.com. Be more than delighted to get you the slide deck. Uh, and thank you for joining me today, and good luck in the markets.